Hi, this is Mashnu, and I'm looking here at an article that was published in the uh, Wall Street Journal on October 14th, 2009, and the title is Abolish uh, Women's Chess Titles. This journalist, uh, Barbara Jepson, um, writes here that she finds that it's time to stop this idea of having separate a separate title system for for women uh, in chess and she her argument is that it's easier to achieve a women uh, grandmaster title than a men's grandmaster title and she says well to 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 get the uh, women's title grandmaster you need to have two or more norms at a performance rating of 2400 um, and to achieve a men's title you need two or more uh, norms of a performance rating of 2600 so that means that it's easier to become a wom women's uh, grandmaster than uh, an, an international grandmaster a men's title and some people agree with her she quotes here international master Irina Krush um, and Krush says I don't see the benefit she talks about the, the titles the women's titles I don't see the benefits women's titles are really a marker of lower expectations so she's actually saying that is a kind of discrimination discriminating women by lowering the um, the, the norm for them um, on the other side there are arguments to stay with the system as it is so keep these women's titles and something very strange here in this article is that if I go down here right here GM Alexandra Kostenyuk is quoted and in this quote she doesn't say anything about the title system um, but because of quoting uh, Alexander Kostenyuk many readers can have the impression the idea that Alexander Kostenyuk uh, agrees with the stopping this this women's titles and actually is absolutely not true um, in fact Alexandra Kostenyuk the, the uh, world champion uh, she reacted to this article by writing an, an, a blog post in her own um, web blog here and I'll show you the top of it is here you can find it find it at uh, chessblog.com and she wrote here an article as a reply emphasizing that she finds it so necessary to have a way to encourage young girls to keep uh, playing chess and try to improve and that actually this system of um, uh, women's titles can encourage and can, can motivate uh, girls to, to play chess so she's actually absolutely in favor of keeping it like this right now and maybe even finding other ways to uh, to motivate uh, female players in chess so if you would like to to to, to have a look at this this interesting articles um, well the one the one about uh, the first one this one can be found at um, online.wsj.com so that's the Wall Street Journal uh, page and here is Alexandra Kostnyuk's weblog that can be found at www.chessblog.com um, and right now what I would like to do is to show you a short fragment of a game between two of the most two of the, of the strongest um, female, female players and that's an, uh, a fragment of the game between Alexandra Kostenyuk and um, Natalia Pogonina in 2005 so let's go to chess now 
there we are this is the position that I wanted to show you so it was played in 2005 during the Russian championship and um, it's white to move here the last move of black was the 27th move queen to a4 and white found here a very beautiful way to finish the game so maybe you would like to try to find the the continuation yourself pause the video and uh, I'll continue talking about the solution in 10 seconds okay so maybe you have thought about things like rook to h8 check it looks very attractive to to use this open file of course that's the the main option for attacking for white and we see that the black has counterplay on the queen side against the white king so what's the next move well actually rook to h8 check doesn't work it looks very beautiful at first sight but after bishop takes h8 rook h6 threatening mate but then simply black can defend with uh, bishop to g7 or even take on, on, on c2 with the queen so this this is not sufficient after bishop g7 and, and one check and we have nothing more for, for white so this shows how important it is in this kind of position to really calculate your variations this is tactics and tactics need calculation the move that was played by Alexandra Kostenyuk here was queen to h2 and she actually pre is preparing the final attack now the move rook to h8 check is a serious threat it's the threat is rook to h8 bishop takes h8 queen takes h8 checkmate and Natalia Pogonina tried to prevent this by playing queen to d4 so, so she placed this queen in the same diagonal defending the h8 square but this doesn't prevent the invasion of white the white rook enters on h8 anyway and after bishop takes h8 the queen goes to h7 check so this h7 square is undefended and here um, Pogonina resigned and let's have a look at what could have happened if king to f8 the only move then simply queen takes h8 queen takes queen rook takes queen check and after king to g7 we see the undefended piece on c8 rook takes c8 and if we then count the pieces we can see that white has won a piece and has reached a totally one position I hope you enjoyed this interesting this beautiful example actually of attacking chess and preparing a final attack and leave your comments on YouTube tell me what you think about these titles do we need the women's titles to encourage girls to play chess or would it be more fair to uh, to only have one title for men and women what do you think